Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel R91 Motors and today's video will be about Piaggio Vespa GTS engine removal step by step. Check it out. So this is Piaggio Vespa GTS 2010 model only with 13,000 kilometers on the clock and we're gonna remove the engine. Why? I will tell you in a second. The reason we're gonna move, remove the engine is that. Let's start it up and then we're gonna see what problems we got. Starts up not too bad but what we got in here is a blue smoke coming out which is no good anyway and I probably know what kind of problem it's got plus we've got noise in the water pump sure with our oil leak as well let's remove this thing in here you probably don't see now but there is massive oil leak in the cylinder probably that's it done so you see the issues so do we scrap it or we fix it and I'm gonna choose fixing of course let's have a check it out what's wrong with the engine and we're gonna see how much it costs and how much work it needs to fix it right then so let's start so let's check it out that's the engine it looks a bit messy to remove it but i don't think it's actually that bad because italians italians do make a uh, quality which i suspect anyway so that's the engine the first thing what we're going to do is remove this exhaust which we got one two three three bolts use allen key for that and then we got two bolts in here with the 10 millimeter socket size so remove these two first that makes your job much easier and then carry on with these one two three right, so now we're gonna use the socket 10 millimeter and we're gonna go under under the bike and remove these two bolts in here so one, one is here Second one. So access is not too bad, access is actually pretty easy. Right, so we got these two boys off from the cylinder head exhaust here. Yeah. I usually use these magnetic tools. It's a nice plate, which is really hard to lose the screws, bolts, anything you do. Because we, you know, we do, uh, we lose them a lot. Right, so we got these two boys off. Let's crack on with these three boys in here as well. <laughs> Just hold with one end, can redo the last screw. Oh. How easy is that? They got exhaust off and the three bolts. So that's the that's three boys in here and two little boys in here and that's exhaust only. Right. So the next task is we need to get coolant out, which I use only a couple of tools, which is the screwdrivers and a little basket or the place where I can drain my coolant so leave that in here use screwdriver first of all you have to remove this uh, cover in here which I did already so there we got the coolant the bottle so we keep that one in here we undo the cap because that makes work much easier 
So then we undo this screw here. Yeah? See, slowly it's coming out already. You can use it when you finish again, which I not suggest you, but you, it depends on your budget. You still can use it. Because, for example, England is not coldest weather in here, so I don't think you're gonna struggle and you will get any problems with that. Oh, coming out crazy. Nice. So that came out pretty easy. So now the step is down. We got exhaust off, the coolant is out. Lovely, let's crack on. So, so what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this boy in here to keep my parts nice and safe because usually they go missing. So I know the small parts will be in here, the biggest parts. Hopefully you're not going to lose them. So let's crack on. Right, so next task is we have to roll this uh, air filter which we're not going to unconnect from here but from carburetor. Trust me, it makes your job much easier because basically you can see the pipe, uh, the hose or pipe or whatever you call it, it ends in here but inside in here, in air filter, it goes deep inside. So that's going to be harder. So make it from here and makes your day much easier. It's actually not easy to make a video. So that's, that's nice and loose. We don't want to damage. Just push it a bit with the screwdriver. Just like that and boom. That's nice and easy. Yeah, that's out. Lovely. Then we're gonna unconnect the the petrol from the carburetor as well. That's coming from the tank, goes inside in the carburetor. And I got one thingy in here with a screwdriver, or you can use the eight millimeter socket as well. Depends what you got, because seems like these not original parts in here, so. That could be different to yours, but I don't think it would make your day. So that's the petrol. Be careful. Use actually gloves if you can. Uh, uh, my day is much easier if I not use gloves. So they can uh, feel, I can touch everything with proper stuff. So undo, undo this one and keep it up or you probably will Drain your petrol out from the tank. So I'll leave in here. Also, I forget to tell you the good point is the mark. Leave the marks. Because I, I did these engines before, so I know actually what I do. But if you do it first time, just mark it up. Put masking tape and write it down the petrol and carburetor hose or colors or anything like that if you know what I mean just mark it up so next task is remove this pipe from the filter and again we go inside in here carburetor we're gonna remove the acceleration cable probably you don't see in the camera what you have to do is remove little 8 mil Bolt, just pull and then come out. Come out nice and easy. Sometimes not too easy. So we just get a little thing. So that is done. We leave that one in here as well to not lose it or not break it. There we go, nice and safe. So that's there for that one so yeah we got screws one in here if you see it it's already undone so we got one in here 
There's only two screws for me. I don't see anything else. So undo that one. So I did the screws from outside. So what we're we gonna do now, slowly, don't damage nothing else. Remove it from the top. Yep, that's coming off nice and easy. So we keep it nice and safe. So for this boy in here, this pipe has a coolant pipe, yeah. We have to remove this boy now. You can use screwdriver. If you've got a small one, that's a bit too big, it's not gonna make your life easier. Or you can use seven millimeter socket, which I think, yeah, it works much, much easier. Remember, if your memory is not too good, just mark it up. Because basically when you're gonna get your engine out, and it depends on what problem it is. You don't know how long time it will take you to fix it. Probably you're gonna suspect the problem, but you need the parts as well, you know. Sometimes you can fit, uh, you can uh, fix it. Sometimes you need to buy new parts. So let's remove this hose in here. Lovely. Got more coolant coming out. You leave that in here to not lose it. And these things leave on a pipe, so you know. Which one is what, you know, what size, because the size are different, the pipes as well, hose, pipes, I call them pipes. For me it's nice and easy. Right, it's a better access in here. So we got, so we got this plug in here, which is electric. Leave that one as well, in here. We unplug that one, and we got left one and two, uh, Plus and minus wiring from the starter motor. That's your starter motor. For these two boys, you use 10 millimeter socket, or you can use the 10 millimeter spanner. It doesn't matter. What makes your job easier? Do that way. I do my way. It makes it easy for me. So we got plus. We got off. Nice. These boys in here. This is the place you've removed. Put them back. So. This way, you ain't gonna lose it. That's what I'm doing. Right, so we got, that was a 10 millimeter for me, and this is eight millimeter. So see close now. Right, so next task is to remove spark plug. It's not easy, because the access is not easy in here. But thanks God it come off nice and easy. So remove spark plug because that's gonna be on the way. Right then, so that's that's about it in, in here. We got exhaust off, we got the fluid out, we got bits and bobs in here, the air filter out, we removed the plug, there's this plug in here, we removed two minus and plus wiring from the starter motor, we remove acceleration cable from the carb carburetor and actually yes we remove this hose in here the water pump hose as well and that that's it hopefully we not forget about something else so that's it from here so now we crack on with this side in here there is one more thing we have to remove which is this brake hose there's a fluid going to the rear brake. Use a 40 millimeter spanner. It's pretty tight. So it goes this way, isn't it? Yeah. So that's coming out. Don't think a lot will come out, but. Yeah, that's it. So be careful because there was the two washers. So we got let's have a close look. We got one in here and one in here. So we got that one off. Also we got eight millimeter in here. I'm just gonna undo this screw. So we got this bolt off. We leave it back how it is. Let's make sure again we're not losing it. I'm good on it. <laughs> My memory is not greatest in the world. 
so they go missing as well. Probably sometimes they got legs. So I've removed from here. Nice and easy. Right. Nice. He's off. Remove uh, suspension. That one in here. We got two. We got one each side. So all together we got two of them. Right in here. You can use 70 millimeter spanner. Boom. Nice and easy. Come off nice and easy. You can use the sockets, sockets or anything. What you got? At least is 70 millimeter because you've got enough spaces in here as well. Oops. I mean, don't want to lose that one. So we got one washer. We got one bolt. The washing goes on. And the suspension, one of the suspensions are off, nice and easy. So we're going to put these washers and uh, bolts and screws everything back, so we're not losing them. And let's move to the left side. Right, this is the left side for some reason. In here is just a little bit different. The size of this one in here is a 30 millimeter and inside one is 17. I don't know why but that's how it is. It comes out like that. What we do we put this bolt back chest again to not lose it so when we're going to put parts back, you see them straight away, you're going to suspect, oh yeah, there is a bolt, put them back, nice, so both suspensions off, and looks like we've got last task to do, and that should be it, right, so the last task is, we've got one, boy in here, with a, uh, you can use the 50 millimeter socket, so this is one side, and let's check, check this side as well, for already spanner in, which is 70 millimeter. So put your 70 millimeter spanner in here, and use 15 millimeter socket from another side. That should make your day much easier. <laughs> yep, that one is off. We save these as well, we don't want to lose them. Use your toolbox. So I use I use one of these tools. If you got something better, use something better. Just tap it slowly in here. You see? Slowly it's coming up. It's pretty long. Side out. See the moped drops already. Lucky we got the wood pieces in here. Save that one in. Save that one in there. So Right then, so that's the engine, uh, 2010 Piaggio Vespa GTS 125. Let's go quickly around. So yeah, so next uh, videos you will see, as we got noise in uh, in here, so that's a, a water pump that will come off, and you will see every single part inside, and we're gonna suspect the problem what kind of noise noise is coming from there so as engine is off I will check basically everything on this engine uh, we're gonna do the carburetor we got plug in here which is the electric choke it starts up not too bad even cold so but still we're gonna clean it out because engine is out I think is a good point to check everything out also uh, we got blue smokes like blue whitish smokes coming out which I think 
is a problem in the cylinder head, which is a piston. Probably one of the oil rings gone. That's why it gives uh, too much oil to the exhaust and the smoke's coming out like that. So it's all going to be on the next videos. Also, we got oil leaking here. You see all wet. Someone's did some job already in here, so I don't know what kind of problem it actually is now, but I'm thinking it could be the head gasket. So that's gone. It's not too old, but probably his age. The most of them are usually his age. And also, we're going to take this cover off, check what's in it, uh, check for the belt because there's a belt inside, uh, check for any pulleys or bendix which is in a starter. Started up with no problem, but still, as I said, the engine is out. We need to check everything by one, because then you're gonna fix this problem and that problem and that one, you put it back, and then you've got another problem. Because it's not easy access when engine is actually inside in a, in a body. It's not easy access. So we're gonna check everything around, step by step. All come on the video and you're gonna see on the next video so basically if you found this very helpful or you like it or you do you you enjoy to watch these videos just subscribe comment for any information you need it may I help and yeah so see you guys on the next video thanks for your time